The alphabet's missing a letter this week on the campus of Ohio State. From 26 down to 25, the letter M's essentially been wiped clean from the slate. You won't find it on mailboxes, clocks, or places of learning, not speed limit signs or Twitter pages, which gives you just a taste of the yearning that here has been burning. From the showdown of showdowns, a game that carries with it the ultimate mystique of the marquee matchup of college football's rivalry week. Yes, there's always been a back and forth before playing that team from up north, but for the first time in a decade, Ohio State and Michigan are both in the top three. Urban Meyer knows this is the game everyone is waiting to see, and so did he as a kid in Ashton Beulah growing up, watching the teams of Woody and Bo on the field mix it up. Both programs had a tremendous respect for each other, both coaches did, and they played so damn hard. And so I just remember that. And uh, so I have a great appreciation for rivalries. And so does the state. That's why even the governor this week will place in resolution his personal prosecution of the scarlet letter M, which he'll soundly condemn with parchment and pen, and take it a step further by calling on people to refrain from being seated in khakis that are pleated. So could this be at our door, the beginnings of the new 10-year war? Just remember the 26th day of November, there's only one place to tune Saturday at high noon to see for yourself which team will survive, and that place is the home of the Buckeyes, right here on News 5. Well, the game bringing back memories of 2006 when Ohio State and Michigan were ranked 1-2 and two in the country. Ohio State won that game and would go on to the national championship game, which they would lose to Urban Meyer. Live in the newsroom, John Kosick, News 5. MC John Kosick. MC John Kosick. He's he a rhymes poet. every time. That's right. Just like that? Just like that. He's a poet. Yeah, that's right.